Forget about The Rock. Finally, Dana Brooke has been released from the WWE. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Wrestling. And it has finally happened. The Endeavor releases have begun, and Dana Brooke has not survived. She is one of multiple people to be released from the WWE contract over the last 24 hours. Is it a surprise? No, it's not a surprise. God knows how Dana Brooke has stayed employed for this long. Honestly, she should have been released seven, eight, maybe even nine years ago. But it just makes me wonder, what was the point? Why did they put her in NXT? Why did they give her a little push on NXT? Put her on the development brand to take away time from up-and-comers when they were just going to release her? Anyway, and they've done that with multiple people on this list. You've got Mustafa Ali, who they moved to NXT. He has been released. There's quite a few people here that have been released. We're going to go through them all. Uh, Mustafa Ali, Dolph Ziggler, Shelton Benjamin, Emma, Elias, Top Dollar. What was the hell of bringing? What's the point of bringing him fucking back? Rick Boogs, Riddick Moss. I don't even know who Riddick Moss is. Aaliyah. Uh, who else have we got? Uh, Mace, Mansoir, Quincy Elliott, Big Fucking, uh, I can't even say what I want to say about Quincy Elliott, but I'm glad he's released Bryson Montana. Who the fuck is Bryson Montana? Shanky and Commander Aziz. And looking at these names, is it a surprise? No. Honestly, there's, there's a couple of people on this list that I would maybe have kept. But even then, I understand why they're being released. For example, I would have probably kept Dolph Ziggler, but I understand why he's been released because the guy has been a jobber for like 10 years fucking straight and at this point I don't think he can come back from what he has endured in his wrestling career. I don't see the point of keeping Dolph Ziggler. Shelton Benjamin could be a good guy to keep as a trainer. Hell, maybe he could move Shelton Benjamin to NXT permanently and have him work with the younger guys. He could be he could be the guy that they have to beat. You know, like we've seen it in the past on ECW where they, they'd move like a more established guy to the third brand. Maybe he could have done that role. I mean, who knows? Elias, I thought, had something about him, but he's been released. Other than that, though, I mean, that for me is it. And, and you look at the people that have been released here. How many of these are Triple H returns? People that Triple H brought back. You've got Emma. She returned. Done absolutely nothing. Top Dollar returned. He was fucking god-awful. Michael Cole buried him every single week on commentary. Uh, Riddick Moss returned. Done absolutely nothing. Uh, who, else, who else returned? Dana Brooke? Did, no, she never got released. But the point is, these names, these suck. These names, these are not good wrestlers. These are not people that I'm surprised. Like I said, I would have probably kept Dolph Ziggler uh, and Mustafa Ali and Shelton Benjamin, but I mean, come on, am I surprised that they're gone? No, I'm not. And really, WWE could have released a hell of a lot more than this. I mean, I'm not surprised. I am kind of surprised, though, that they never released more because the roster is so bloated. There's so many fucking people on this roster that are just stealing a wage. And out of all the, who, who's going to be missed here? Honestly, who who are we looking at thinking, wow, that's going to be a big loss to WWE. The ratings are going to go down now. Oh, the, the Monday Night Raw is not going to be as good anymore without Riddick Moss on the show. I mean, come on. I mean, seriously. I, I wouldn't even consider these releases. This is simply WWE taking out the trash. And I think more names need to follow and more names probably will follow because... The company sucks, a lot of people in the company suck, and I think we endeavour, I think they're going to be trying to cost cut as much as possible, I don't I don't think they're going to have dead weight in the company, and WWE in the past has kept dead weight around for a while, normally though if you do suck then eventually they will get rid of you, but I think with Endeavour being around now it's going to be even uh, harder for people to keep their jobs, and, and you've got to wonder how Dana Brooke kept her job for so long, I mean I reckon she must have been banging somebody backstage important. Either that, or they knew that she had the hots for Dave and there might be something there and maybe WWE wanted to bring back Batista and they thought, well, maybe if we keep Dana Brooke on the roster, that'll, uh, that'll keep us on Dave Batista's good side. Who knows? But she's released now. 
as is all the other names that we mentioned. Anyway, guys, that's it. If more names get announced, you'll hear about it here. Till then, though, let me know down below. Out of, out of all the names mentioned, who do you think is the most deserving to get released? And who do you think is the least deserving to get released? Released Again, I'll quickly go through the names. Mustafa Ali, Dolph Ziggler, Shelton Benjamin, Emma, Elias, Top Dollar, Rick Boogs, Riddick Moss, Aaliyah, Dana Brooke, Massey, Mansoir, Quincy Elliott, Bryson Montana, whoever the fuck that is, Shanky, and Commander Assis. Let me know your thoughts down below, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. And until then, peace.